Israel has reportedly put a new offer on the table for Hamas to free the hostages in Gaza. Officials say the Israeli government is proposing a two-month ceasefire in exchange for the release of all hostages. Hamas has previously called for a permanent ceasefire. While negotiations continue, so does the war. Israel says 21 of its soldiers were killed in Gaza in the single deadliest attack on Israel's army since the war with Hamas began. In a televised statement, an IDF spokesperson said the reservists were demolishing buildings near the border between Israel and Gaza using explosives in an effort to secure the area so residents of southern Israel could return back home. That's when a rocket-propelled grenade was fired at a tank that was protecting the troops. At the same time, an explosion occurred in the buildings, causing the structures to collapse on the soldiers. So far, 219 Israeli soldiers have been killed in Gaza. Earlier on Monday, Palestinian health officials said Israeli forces stormed a hospital in southern Gaza. Israel issued a statement reiterating its claims that Hamas embeds itself in civilian population, including in hospitals and schools. Meanwhile, the U.S. and United Kingdom launched a new round of strikes against Houthi targets in Yemen on Monday. U.S. Central Command said the second round of attacks by the two nations struck missile systems and launchers, air defense systems, radars, and deeply buried weapon storage facilities. Central Command said the strikes are intended to degrade the capability of the Iranian-backed Houthi terrorists from continuing their attacks on ships in the Red Sea.